What's going on guys? Um, thank you so much for the support we've been getting. And there's a lot of things I wanted to consider talking about today, such as Valorant console and Valorant mobile. So if you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're an old user here, welcome back. And welcome back to my show. Over here, like we have PS4, we have Xbox, and we have mobile. Mobile, yeah. So, uh, mobile is completely different than actually, we also have the PC, I forgot to mention that. Um, but the mobile is something completely different that will take a long time to actually be produced. So, I haven't talked about this in my previous videos yet, but it actually needs a lot of time to you know, make this cool sage tricks, to make the cool jet tricks. Are you really gonna be pushing aggressively with jet on mobile is easy on PC? Nah, it's not that easy and it's not that possible. That's why they need balancing. So, balancing. Uh, okay, I, I think this was kind of okay. So, you have to make new new agents. Uh, you have to remodel. Actually, remodel. That's the, that's the best word I could find right now. Uh, remodel agents. Yeah, that's one great thing. Um, and... I already talked about the markets in my previous video, how huge this is, right? Um, but look at this. This is this is like what they're doing right now. So this is all the market they have. So they have this small portion of players, you know. I'm just gonna draw a few people here. You know, a few happy people playing Valorant. You know, and uh, a few other people that are coming to Valorant from CSGO. And whatever and a few other people are trying Valorant or whatever and what they're doing is all of these people over here so I'm just gonna draw them really fast so these are just like the player base okay so here here is one player here is one player and here is one player so these are playing on the PC right I'm gonna draw a PC really fast just for you to understand uh, uh, so they're already playing here um, but what happens is these people are trying to play you know they're seeing what these people are, are, are doing you know so they're looking like this oh I want to play Valorant too they see what they're doing but when they try to gr get across uh, they're like they search you know on the store Valorant console plan there's nothing here you're right the, the, the access is blocked or whatever um, same for mobile. Mobile is kind of different because there's not a lot of demand for mobile on uh, right now. Like, um, it's a great addition to have. They're like, hmm, do we really want it? So, yeah, do we really want this or no? Because I haven't seen a lot for it actually. Just, you know, some searches. But compared to Valorant console, this is actually huge. This, this, these people really want to play. While these guys are... Yeah, I want to play with my family when, I don't know, they're away or I want to play at work or whatever. There's a big difference in this, to be honest. Um, and what I think of this is you can actually make this a pretty fair example why it will come to console. And people have been saying it two months ago. So two months, I can't draw a PS5, but two months ago people were saying, Oh, no, it's not coming to console. Yeah, I'm sorry no console that's what we're saying to two months ago not now but when riot gives a new info people start following like a sheep you know so that's what happens um and they're like oh Valorant is coming to console i hope it won't be you know cross platform um i i hope it you know won't uh, kill the game or whatever and that's what i really find sad about the some of the pc players over here they're so close-minded and they seriously consider, you know, how much Riot actually makes from this compared to how much it would make if it was PC only. Um, of course, CSGO makes a lot of money and doesn't have to go on console because they have it on Steam. And Steam is just a huge marketplace, you know, where you can sell your skins. Uh, that's how they make most of the money, selling skins, buying skins, buying case keys. Um, and they don't have to, they can't do that on console. They, they don't have Steam on console, bro. No console, no Steam, no money for CSGO. It's, it's that fucking simple. And I, I see a lot of people so stupid 
Um, well, they're not stu really stupid. Not, not, no, not a lot of people is really stupid, but they're just so close-minded, and I get slightly pissed off about this. And they're kind of like the sheep, you know, of... Uh, well, if you're a PC player, don't get offended. Um, but for mobile, it's the same principle. So, you know, the more they get it on more platforms, more platforms means more skins to be sold. And, you know, that's how it goes. More skins to be sold. And, you know, more more esports players, more cash. I keep saying that in my every video or whatever. And a lot of people don't actually think about this. Seriously. Uh, yeah, this is a huge stack going on for Valorant. Um, I mean, Riot right now. And Valorant console is coming soon and that, that's almost a promise I can make. We're actually gonna be looking at some straight facts. A lot of people were telling me, oh Fanon, your videos are just speculation. Well, not that many, but some haters, you know, or whatever, or some with fair criticism. However, here we go. Uh, the global consum games market was valued at about 26 billion in 2018 and it's expected to grow 31 billion at CGR at of 1.4.1 I think that's like the the growth rate uh, through 2022 major players in the market are Tencent Games Sony Interactive Entertainment Microsoft Studios Activision Blizzard and EA um, okay okay EA yeah uh, we all know what EA does uh, Blizzard okay Activision Blizzard okay yeah they have Overwatch they have Warzone but where's Riot? Um, Riot will want that juicy money, in my honest opinion. Um, Riot won't let this sleep through. Um, they've been sleeping on the consoles and been focusing on the PC, but I think this time it's gonna look kind of different for them. The console games market has been geographically segmented into North America, Western Europe, APEC, Eastern Europe, South America, Middle East, and Africa. Um, the Asia Pacific market is the largest market for console games and expected to continue the largest market during the forecast period. Uh, so we're gonna see a huge increase on this. This is a huge market that all the big companies are tapping into. Um, this is some legit info shit I found, find right here. Um, so the major driving force for a console games market is the rapid increase in number of active gamers across the world. So. There's so many gamers, even on TikTok, uh, you see girls, you know, holding their controllers or whatever. It's a huge promo for Riot, sponsored by Riot, lol. Um, by the way, Riot, please sponsor me. Uh, that would be great. Yeah, if you could send me like $2,000 $2, per month to my location, that would be great, to be honest. So, I can eat. In 2017, there were 2.21 billion gamers worldwide and the number is expected to reach 2.73 billion, which is huge. That's huge. But what I think, to be honest, they're also considering um, the mobile gamers. I'm not sure about that. If it's just PC gamers and whatever, and if it's a person that played a game once, that's great. But I don't know how they got exactly this number. According to Nielsen, 64% of the general population in the USA are gamers. Um, I can definitely see that entertainment is a huge industry right now and the only game uh, people who aren't gamers are boomers So esports viewers would also be sig significantly to contribute to growth to the console games market is estimated that approximately 557 million people will watch esports by 2021 um, So esports is growing right now and if we look esports in five years It can be either a big flop or a big mess um, in my honest opinion so it could be something that we could potentially see it being pretty much, you know, something. It's kind of hard to advertise in esports, so you can't get like advertisements as, as such. Um, but you can see actually the example of how much you know you get in sponsors in esports games versus how much you get on Super Bowl or whatever. Um, you know how much the ads cost on Super Bowl, it's like millions and millions of dollars just for 15 seconds. Um, and in esports, there's not so many sponsors because it's kind of different demographics, so they really have to work on that. But if Riot makes a lot of tournaments, it markets, you know, its game, uh, it will be huge for them. Esports is just a baby right now, and if it grows into a teen or 
an adult in 30 years it can be the next big thing you can see like thousands and thousands of gamers just watching it on tvs and whatever um there has been a rapid growth in the mobile tablet gaming owning to introduction of new smartphones tablets with enhanced features to play video games without having to connect to an external device or console um that's a lot of people that aren't talking about so that's why you know mobile games are kind of still new so if we look at mobile games First mobile games were coming out like 2020, 2011, and those weren't very good. Um, for example, the ease of using a mobile for multiple purposes such as messaging, internet use, and gaming has led to the maximum adoption of mobiles without having to sit on it, fix location with an external console device due to mobility offered by a mobile tablet-based game. Console games may decline. Uh, what I think of this? According to the recent data from GMM, mobile gaming segment was close to 47% of the total revenue of the global games and is further increasing a strong growth, posing a significant threat to the console games and market. So this could definitely be a huge thing for Valorant. Um, they don't have actually a lot of resources for mobile right now, I think. Um, I don't think they're looking into mobile right now. Because mobile games take a long time to process from console or from PC or whatever. So um, let's take an example of Fortnite. Fortnite, what they get to is just, you know, make one version for PC, make one version for PS4. Because they're the same type of demanding games. They just have to switch the controllers, they have to switch the servers, they have to fix a few bugs and whatever. But with, you know, mobile, you have to make a completely new game. Because you can't just port it from, you know, one to another uh, without it super lagging. You have to make the new maps, you have to make the new agents, you have to, you know, downgrade everything. You have to set up the abilities, you have to set up the bugs, and it's a completely new game when releasing it on mobile. That's why I think the mobile isn't out yet. Uh, but I'm keeping my hopes up for console, to be honest, I'm pretty sure it will release. And when it releases, we'll have this huge community of people that you know will just watch the videos you know i will interact with them i have so many plans to actually do for valorant console so that's a great thing and i'm gonna keep it up console video game developers are adopting the subscription based gaming for example xbox live and playstation plus provide licensing for a few games on monthly rotation basis first major subscription program by ea was the ea access on xbox one which offered discounts on ea games blah 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 so basically they're I think like this is terrible for games, but it's it's a great way for you know consoles to actually make a lot of money. So consoles don't actually make a lot of money for you know selling the stuff, um, selling the consoles itself, but actually on the subscriptions. If you don't know by that, so the info that Valorant gives me on Valorant console, uh, what they do me is they put me on this little island, right? And I'm stuck on this little island looking for more info. And they give me an axe and I will build a house from this, seriously. Um, there's so much info going on, so much stuff I can talk about, just about Valorant console. And I'm not going to stop about it. So majority of parents around the world are concerned about children being exposed to an inappropriate... Oh my god, this is stupid. What? There's no inappropriate content? Just, I don't know, just turn some lock or something. So yeah this is this is basically an article found a pretty good um study or whatever a pretty good article with all the summaries and anyway i hope you enjoyed the video for today be sure to check out next time tomorrow and that's why i sign out peace guys